Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you one more decoupage um, project. I got Flair with me because we were sitting in there watching TV, settled in for the night. Well, it's still daylight, but we were <laughs> we ate supper and we were settled in watching some TV. And it dawned on me, I forgot to record this intro. So I didn't have the heart to put her back in her tank for that. Anyway, what we're doing today is not on a basket, it's on a tray. So it just shows you that you can decoupage different things using napkins. This uses a napkin, not tissue paper. So I'll just keep this short and sweet. We'll turn around. It's just an old tray from the 70s. It was my mama's back during that wood um, phase that, you know, everything was wood. So I've updated it. I think it looks great. I really, really like it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get another idea of something to do. And so let's just turn around and get started. Okay, before we get started, let me warn you, my phone is being crazy. When I was setting up, it was doing that whole in and out, in and out, and I don't know how to make it stop. I just don't. So I apologize and if I will try to edit it out if if I can, if it doesn't take away any um thing important. Yeah, yeah. So I'll put the picture of this up. Now, the napkin that I love the pattern so good is what I want to put on here. But I'm going to attempt to put the whole napkin on here. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to leave it as is patterned. So I think that's going to be right pretty. Now what I want to do, I don't want to cut all four sides to make it fit. I just want to cut two sides. So I'm going to put, see this down here has got the, the writing down there. Let me come down here so maybe I can do that better. I'm going to line up this corner, this up here. So we got at least two straight, <laughs> got at least two straight sides. Now I'm going to, Spread it down. I'm going to try to crease it with my finger. My fingernail. And hope that okay, now let's crease this one. Okay. Fingers crossed. You know I have a what? fits good enough for me because I am not <laughs> an exact person I, that fits good enough for me don't you think that's going to be pretty I think it is I don't want it beside that just be too busy so now let's peel the you know what do I want to peel this one says it does not have to go down into the I think since this is wood and it's flat and smooth I'm not gonna take the layers apart I'm just gonna use both layers just a little bit thicker for that so let's get our Mod Podge Now let's see if we can get it on evenly. I'm going to use this brush because that sponge if you can see right there that sponge messed up that part of the napkin so I think this might be lighter on the napkin itself alright it is still drying I didn't 
stand there and blow dry the whole thing dry so it, it's still um, wet so I'm not going to do the inside yet but I want to embellish these handles with some jute and I don't know how much I need so I'm just going to pull a big piece off and I had to wait for my heat gun heat gun <laughs> glue gun because I want to let me undo that that's the thing about this one it's cordless for like five minutes I want to I think I'll glue it right there because I don't believe I can twist it through if I don't stick it. Don't worry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, all I want to do, let me plug this back in. All right, I'll get. All I want to do is just wrap this around the handle. I think I'm going to try to double that up. How did I do that? How in the world did I do that? Y'all ever do mess like that? Okay, we run out, so I'm going to cut it and glue it right there and get another piece. Okay. Let me see, maybe I might have that right here. I don't need much more. I'm going to try that. If I had that already cut, I could have glued it at the same time. I'm going to put it right on top of that one so it looks like it's still just one Stop there. Okay. How's that? I like it. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Okay, there's the handles. I think they look great. I'm going to let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, we're going to glue this around the end side. I think that's going to look really nice. So, I will see you tomorrow. Now, let me apologize if my lighting is... Uh, worse than usual because it's five o'clock in the morning I don't have any daylight coming through the windows not that I have much anyway because I have curtains that I never open <laughs> so this is nautical rope from the Dollar Tree I started remember I told you where it um like we well, already did that here where it went up the sides a little bit that when it got harder I would take it off well, I started down here in the corner with my X-Acto knife and my tweezers and, and I was getting it off and then it dawned on me, don't need to because I'm putting this on there. So, if you get it a little off, don't worry about it because we're going to cover it up. Now, I have my glue gun heated and we're just going to start... Let 
me clean this up. I'm going to take you in there in the better light and we're going to look at this. Okay, my TV's on in the background. Just ignore it. I'll try to take it down during editing. Here is the final product. Now, you can see little like wrinkles in the napkin, but you know what? Doesn't bother me. I think it kind of looks like um, crepe paper or something to that effect. I like it. I like the way the rope turned out. I love the handles. I, I'm very pleased. I'm just very pleased with the way this turned out. Now, what am I going to do with it? Don't have a clue, but I know I like it. So, that wraps up my video of Mod Podge, Decky Podge, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some ideas. It got your creative juices flowing. So, next time you're at the Dollar Tree or somewhere, you'll be looking at napkins in a whole different way. So, thanks for coming. And if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. So I'll talk to you later.